All right, guys, how you doing? So I'm working on the third part of the DIY solar pool heater. I want to show you a couple things I'm going to be doing today. So first of all, I'm going to be installing this thermometer. This is a reed thermometer, and I got it off Amazon. I'll have the link below in the description of this video. Very inexpensive. I think I may have paid maybe $15 for it. Could have been less, but a nice big thermometer here has a three inch stem here. I'm going to be putting that on the side of the DIY solar pool heater. I'm going to be using this half inch to three eighths bushing reducer. The half inch fits the thermometer and that's going to be recessed into my two by four like this going in. So that's going to work pretty well. And to do this, I'm going to go ahead and use this step bit set I have here. I picked this up on Amazon too. Can't remember what I paid for it. It's very inexpensive. Again, product link below. I'm um, looking forward to using this because it's uh, got different sizes. And it should make a perfectly round hole. I can go a little bit by a little bit and fit it perfectly for that bushing. Nice, huh? Perfect. Very nice. Coming out this side, you can see. All right, work on the Lexan next. Get this covered up. Okay. My helper here. Let's do another one here. I need to write my name in cursive again. Alright, that's good. <laughs> I can't hear that. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just going through and I'm going to start putting the Lexon glass down. And I'm using this brand new bit on the Lexon. It's drilling pretty nice. I did a couple holes already. So I'm just going to go ahead and drill the glass first. Once I get all my holes for the glass, I'll go ahead and go through each hole again and go down further into the wood and pre-drill all these holes for my hardware. Found the key is just going slow. All right guys, I've gone ahead and just used a little bigger bit here. This is 11 64th. And I'm just going through these holes and just making them a little bigger because I want the hardware to drop through and then I'll drill down with the original bit and make sure the screws uh, fit that bit. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware I'm using here. So I'm using number eight, one and one quarter screws here. Everything's stainless and a fishing washer. And I'm also using these rubber grommets here. These uh, grommets actually fit very nicely in there and then my screw will go down like that. So they actually had something this already at the hardware store, but it wasn't stainless, so I actually decided to do my own. All right guys, I've gone ahead and put a layer of silicon to seal it in. This is both for water and for heat. Now this is the top of the unit. I'm probably gonna let this set up first and then go ahead and silicon even more of it. Go right through it to make sure no water penetrates that insulation. But for the most part, it's starting to look nice. Real proud of this uh, build here. I think it looks good. Uh, I think it's going to function pretty well. Now it's sitting flat and level. Just went ahead and put a, the uh, thermometer in. Let's take a look here. So we're just uh, about 95 degrees. It's about 5 o'clock right now. So the sun is starting to set here. It's 
not even hot out. I think it's 95 degrees. So when I got the angle right, it should be pretty good on a nice sunny day here. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish up part three of the DIY solar pool heater. As you can see, I've got the panel attached here. I use some one and a half by one and a half, commonly referred to as two by two here, uh, mounted to some two by four. I made it a little extra big because I wanted to make sure that uh, when two people lift this up and they move it around, I'm gonna move this thing around uh, so it doesn't kill the lawn. I'm gonna move it every week and so, I may put a brace from here to here just to uh, brace that so when we lift up the panel, it works. Got my helper here. Hey, peeps. Got the top leg over here at 16 inches, and then this one down here is at 8 inches. The whole thing's at 20 degrees. The summer sun is really high in the sky, so only need 20 degrees. I'm at the 45th parallel, so this thing's going to work really well. It's going to get really hot. Let's go ahead and take a look at the temperature right now. We're early evening, it's about 6 o'clock here, northwestern Vermont, it's about 70 degrees out. If you take a look here, you can see it's over 100 degrees, 105 degrees. So this thing's going to be cooking in the daytime. Okay, ready. So uh, guys, I'll come back with you at one more part here. I'll do all the hookups, I'm going to do the variable speed control in the motor. That's going to be really cool, so check that out. Thanks guys for watching this video here. You know what to do, like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a question if you have one. I'd be more than happy to try to answer any questions here, answer all the comments and so forth. Do appreciate you guys checking out these videos. This is part three. I'll have at least one more part and I'll probably do one more after that and do an overview of the uh, solar DIY pool here. Thanks guys for watching. We'll catch you next time.